everybody. I thought today I would go around my yard and take videos of my raised garden beds, which I made out of filing cabinets, to show you how they're coming along. And I'm wearing my bright yellow jacket today because it's raining finally, which is wonderful. As you can see, the cardboard underneath here is getting wet and it will turn that lawn into dirt eventually. And the leaves and the potato peels or whatever comes from the kitchen is mixed in here. And I have some chicken manure that I get from my neighbor in the bottom area. Sometimes I put cardboard in here and then I'll um, save water from the house and put water in here. But now that it's raining, this is really wonderful. And it's breaking down quite fast. Put lots of twigs in here too. This is an area on the property that uh, when I had the gazebo moved, there's this pre-made spot that I'm gonna use for a garden. I got raspberries in there. I'm gonna put probably some asparagus and garlic in this one. And then I'm gonna put this cardboard all the way around and put some uh, metal stakes in the ground that like, like these ones here that I got from the filing cabinets. And then I'll put string around to keep Luke from going in the garden. I started this behind the garage and uh, I got a whole bunch of cardboard and I put it down. I'm going to do this all over the yard. And then I've got some wood chips hopefully coming one of these days and I'll put on top. And uh, I have bags of leaves which I gathered. These are the ones that I have left still. I gathered so many from all over the place. People bag them up and leave them for the garbage man. I bring them here in my van and make soil. Hi, Luke. Luke is inspecting this one. Hi, buddy. This is another one of those gardens. I'm, I gave away a shed, and now I've planted chives and some ra strawberries here. I think I have a raspberry somewhere around here. And this, I think, is a daylily. I've been putting leaves in here, but I'm going to also put... Um, rope and stakes around this so Luke will know to stay out of it because he doesn't know. Behind Luke is a pile of chicken manure which I have all open getting the rain <clears throat> which is wonderful. I get this chicken manure and wood chips from my neighbor which is really awesome and I put it in sometimes the lower parts of these raised beds and I'm going to let whatever's left just decompose into really good garden soil and here we have this one you've probably seen in another video is uh, another raised bed that is really shrinking down I took everything out of this to line it with poly and as you can see and then I put everything back it's breaking down it was up higher like couple inches higher than this top but uh, I even put broken down egg cartons cardboard kitchen scraps as much as I can get leaves and in this one there's lots of twigs you can see that it's almost a foot lower and it's just making me some really good organic free soil here is a closer look at the pile it's probably about four feet by three feet high, which is getting lots of uh, rain today, and that's good. And then I'll cover it when it stops raining. We're supposed to get a couple of days of rain because it needs to have some some um, moisture in there, which so this is great. And then I will take that poly and cover it and let it uh, get heat up by the sun, which will the heat will kill any pathogens. And then it'll break down, turn into really good organic soil, which is amazing to grow in. And over there, you can see my other two cabinets. The one on the right is the original one I started with here. And there's actually two, which I'm working on. I'm going to put that green. I got this. These this is actually an old deck from some neighbor down the road. I'm going to, on when it's not raining, put this down on some cardboard and start raising that one off the ground a little so it doesn't the cabinets don't rot as quickly 
But let's go take a closer look at that original cabinet. Here is the original cabinet that I started with here. And there's a lot of, uh, it's actually, I had taken it out to line this one too. All, all the leaves and everything that was in there, compost and manure, every, just everything. And it's actually turning to black, nice soil. So I mixed it all up, put it back in, put more leaves on. And it was really high. But now I see it's getting lower again and breaking down. You can see some space there. But this one's getting uh, quite on its way to being finished. It'll take some time yet, but what I can do is put some soil when it's a little lower and time to plant. Right on top is usually what I do. A few inches and in growing that, and it keeps breaking down as I'm growing on top and feeding my plants. I've done that before, which works really good. And this is the, the wood deck piece that was uh, gifted to me that I'm going to put underneath. And first, first I'll put down some cardboard, but you can see there's two cabinets here. And all the cabinets do not have bottoms, so you can see it's open. So usually I put something in the end. As you can see here, I put a board there. And then it's lined, so it's, uh, there's pl like the poly on the other side of that board. But, uh, the three high that's over by the garage is the only one that came with the bottom, but these ones don't. So I thought I'll put these two and bolt them together and make a long garden bed. See how long that is? And uh, when it's a nicer day, I will put Polly in there and get that one started. Hi, Luke. Luke wants to play. Luke wants to play. Every time he sees me out, he's getting so playful. You want to run around, Luke? Go run around. Come on. Go get your toy. Oh, yeah, Luke's having fun. Oh, you hear the neighbor dog? Now here, behind the gazebo, I have a bathtub that's now a raised garden bed. I put all kinds of twigs and cardboard and kitchen scraps, leaves, and water I like gray water that from the house I'll bring out in buckets and uh, it has its own built-in natural drain here as all tubs do you see that right there and it's really breaking down a lot too I see but these will all be really nice organic raised garden beds and this one doesn't need lining because it's enamel it'll last forever and once they're all gardened in, it'll look fantastic.